Hello and welcome back to Outer Wilds. We are starting off in the middle of things, in media res, as it were, because we are back here in Brittle Hollow to follow up on some loose ends. Uh, first of all, there is still the Southern Observatory that we need to uh, find, which was one of the major structures that was even built here in the first place, right? Uh, but also there's this path over here which seems to indicate that there was a, another portion of uh, Brittle Hollow that is, as of yet, um, unexplored by us. So here we go. This is inside a glacier, I believe. Uh, and this is meant to be one of their other residences here at Brittle Hollow. So I'm going to try to maybe uh, this episode clean up some of the locations that we have uh, that have not yet been um, fully explored. I want to ensure that we're being fairly thorough while we're over here. What do we have here? Danger ghost matter. Oh, there it is down there. Okay. Perhaps we'll not take that path in particular. All right, give me something here. Oh, here's some oxygen. That's a plus. There's ghost matter down there, so perhaps we don't venture too far. I think we should be okay up here. There's a nice little railing up here. Um, oh, here we go. I'll take that. Thank you very much. This seems to be like a... What is this? Like a briefing room of some kind? Explanation of festivals. Oh, is this Solanum? Uh, Solanus? What's his name? No. Okay. Never mind. Uh, all of the Nomai clans from all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learned in science and art. It's called the festival. Don't forget, festivals happen every ten years. At some festivals, one clan's big discovery can mean all the Nomai get to advance, too, like a known as Warp Core, which made it so everyone can warp long distances and explore more. Each clan has a festival envoy to show their most interesting work. Our envoy was Thatch. A single festival could last a long, long time. So it's kind of like the, um, the World Fair, right? Like, back in the, the sort of the olden days... I believe there was, there was like a pretty major one in like Chicago for a while. Uh, we can't go because we're stuck here, but Felix says we used to go too. Not sure, I mean it's interesting I guess from a anthropological point of view, but I'm not sure why it's super relevant to uh, our specific line of inquiry. The formation of this universe. Now this is Solanum. No one knows how this universe was made, but one thing we do know is everything used to be very hot and very dense, tightly packed together. As this early universe expanded, it also cooled down. Once it had cooled down enough, particles were able to group together to form things like galaxies, stars, and planets. Since then, space has continued to expand at a faster and faster rate, which is hard to think about for too long without your brain hurting. This universe will keep getting colder and larger until one day the stars and the life they support will all die. That's scary to think about, even though Conoy tells me it won't happen in our lifetimes. But it'll happen in someone else's someday. Huh. Well, there were no quest uh, or ship log updates as a result of that revelation, but I guess it's just kind of general world building. And also gives us a chance to think um, why, in particular, is the, is the universe ending now? You know, is that related at all to the, the death of the universe in general? But it's happening so rapidly, you know, it seems like there's something that's triggering it. Uh, perhaps in a way that is, um, I don't know, maybe accelerating the the... the age of the universe somehow 
Like, is there some sort of mechanism that's causing things to become older than they should be manually, if that makes sense? Uh, that's the only thing I can surmise. You know, like, eventually, all stars will suffer the fate of our star here, right? So that in itself is not strange, but what is strange is uh, the rapidity with which it's doing it. The fact that it's doing it in like, I don't know, oh no. Uh, is this where we came from? Yeah, I think it is. The rapidity with which it is, with, with which it's occurring is the issue. Um, so there's some kind of acceleration occurring, in my humble opinion. All right. I would like to get up there, but I'm not sure how gravity works here. <gasps> so if I were to jump up there, what would happen? Let's go up again. Okay, I'm not sure what else there is to observe. I guess there's that over there. How, how would I get there? I wonder. There's ghost matter there, which is going to kill us. But maybe we can get past it. Over here. Yeah. Something like this. What do you think? Oh, this looks significant. Oh my, okay. All kinds of symbols. All right. Black Hole Forge District. Ice Shrine District. Melwater District. School District. Oh, I see. Oh, we can climb up uh, that way. Okay. So this is similar to the Ash Twin uh, area. Instead, of, But instead of being you know, limited by sand, it's being limited by everything falling apart around us. Very similar mechanism in, in effect, if not in a function. Come on. Oh, it's not, it's not operating anymore. That's why. So that's blocked off. Okay. But we can, we can go here to this little platform here. And, uh... Take a look around, at least. I don't like the sound or look of that. I'm getting pretty good at this jetpack thing, I, wanna, I just want to point out. Okay. Not as many, uh, sort of text logs as I had expected. Alright, let's go ahead and get over there. There's the supernova sign. How did they know? Be welcomed in this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to this star system. The signal from the eye. We observed the eye's signals in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this. The source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the Eye of the Universe, is older than this universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter, and open your mind to its possibilities. What is the Eye's signal? Of note, from the signal we were able to determine the Eye's approximate age, or perhaps its lack of age. Suppose the Eye wishes to communicate. The eye, the signal is the eye's voice. It speaks a language we don't yet know. Or maybe the signal is the eye's attempt at expressing itself. The signal is a call. Were we the intended audience? Or perhaps it's us, the Harthians. Who knows? How can the eye be older than the universe itself? Suppose it is a relic from a previous universe. The early universe was unimaginably hot and dense. If anything existed before, it would have been destroyed. 
Suppose the universe is older than previously assumed. And what is the eye of this universe? The eye is older than this universe, so imagine how much it could teach us. Perhaps it is a cosmic library. Suppose the eye is a more advanced being. The eye is the source of the signal that brought us here. Lots of interesting hypotheses. I like the sort of uh, Socratic method of hypothesizing and testing out different theories and weighing them based on the extent to which they can be reasoned logically. I, I really I like that a lot. I no longer believe, as I did as a child on Ember Twin, that the eye of the universe, the source of the signal, wishes to harm us. But it may not want to be found, either. The terrible circumstances of our arri arrival here were almost certainly exactly that circumstance. I suspect imagining we are special to the eye in some way is wishful thinking. The eye might have called out to any sentient species, or it might not have been calling out at all, and that my ancestors heard the eye's signal holds no great deep meaning. This wouldn't be so bad, I think. In fact, the eye may not have wishes at all. We have no evidence supporting this. Yeah, everything is very, uh, like, for the, for the certainty with which they know the eye exists, there is certainly not much sort of addressing its uh, sentience or will or lack thereof, right? Which is certainly the point. And I, I truly wonder whether these questions will actually be answered for us or whether that's just going to be something that's going to be left up to our interpretation at the end, you know? Uh, this is where we came in here, I think. Yeah. All right, let's go down to this level next and see what may be found. Oh, this is interesting. What did I do? Oh. Huh. Is that a is that a ship of some kind or well, that was unexpected. Oh, this is also new as well. The Ash Twin Project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? Ooh, pick up scroll. Okay. Uh, oh, I can just insert it thusly. Solution two, we could craft a new uh, advanced warp core inspired by the vessel, uh, by the vessel's warp core. Abandoning the vessel's warp core and its casing means losing valuable knowledge. This is true. However, it's knowledge we have little hope of recovering. It would be best to relearn, I think. I would very much like to craft such a powerful core. More relevantly, I believe the Black Hole Forge crew and I could recreate the basic design. This is the safest path for our clan. Is the safest path the best one? Our goal is worth the risk. Is it, though? We've tried for so long to find something that I and others now believe might be impossible to find. If the search for the eye is a futile one, we should choose the option with the least potential for harm. The greatest challenge here, I think, is we don't have the design for such a powerful core, or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. No, but Pope was apprenticed to Anona. Who, recreate, who created the original design, and our Black Hole Forge is adept at crafting simpler cores. I believe we can, I can be of use here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but Anona explained many of its designs to me. So there's quite a significant variety of uh, options for how they intend to get back to their universe. Oh, and there's another one. Please don't fall apart on me until I have a chance to read everything. <laughs> okay. Solution one, we could retrieve the warp core from the vessel. This would require a return to Dark Bramble. Plume, my father, said many good know my perished there. 
My mentor, Coleus, and his old mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil in Ember Twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. It's interesting that we notice a very generational recounting. Like, we were just at Ember Twin earlier and had everything about Coleus and so on and so forth. And it seemed like it was very current, but these guys were mentored even by then. So this is like a multi-generational effort we're uncovering. I remember that anglerfish fossil. We used to play in Fossil Fish Cave when we were children. What Melloray and I did, uh, learned from that fossil would theoretically help us evade the anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never tested on the live specimen. Well, why don't you spill the beans, Coleus? So I, don't you think I might need to know that information? The vessels, uh, <laughs> the vessel's warp core is broken. At best, uh, recall those present when the vessel crashed said it sustained lethal injuries. There was no guaranteed reward for this risk. Perhaps we could still repair it. My grandmother told me there was little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. Even at no if it no longer functions, the old core would be a valuable blueprint, provided we're able to transport it back here. Interesting. So, that's kind of giving me more options, isn't it? Like, if I could go to Dark Bramble, survive whatever madness I'm sure to encounter there, bring it back here, recreate the drive. I don't know. I feel strange trying to recreate Anona's warp core without him. At times it still feels strange to long no longer be his very young apprentice, and for the Black Hole Forge to be in my care and not his. Hypothesis, this will always feel strange. Even though my time with him was short, I miss my old mentor in deeply. To have the chance to try is thrilling, but I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I can do this, probably, but what if it, excitement has clouded my assessment, ex assessment of my own abilities? Was I wrong in voluntarily volunteering to build it? I was born in the star system and never saw a known as warp core with my own three eyes. I only know what he taught me. What if I've bitten off a larger portion than I could consume? Still, all I can give is my best, and as Anona would say, should my best prove insufficient, then we will find another way to achieve what's needed. I have Clary and Root in the Forge, and I have my clan. I am not alone. The power of community. Again, another uh, major theme. Uh, okay. Get up here, I think. So, whatever that thing is that we just raised... Ooh, this is interesting. Uh... That's presumably the Black Hole Forge, right? So we should... We should hurry on over there and try to explore it while it still exists. Uh-oh. But that doesn't bode well. Huh. Uh-oh. Ooh, I like the little water streaks on there. That's kind of cool. Now what is this? This is is this a, a dead end of some kind? Where's there another Oh no. Oh, cool. There's a little entrance right here. Let's figure out where this is so that in the future if we come back here. Uh okay. Got it. It's in this little uh water area. And it's down down here. Okay, so this is a nice little shortcut for us. Uh should we come uh back here? Whoa! Oh, ow. Okay. Okay, now, how do I get back to that forge? Or what I assume is the forge. It's all the way up there now, so we've got quite a ways to go up. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We don't have much time. Alright, there it is there. Man, how do I get even farther up? Oh, here we go. I think. Uh, is this gonna do it? Ooh, maybe not. Uh. Okay. Let's get over here.
How close are we to it? We're closer. It's on the other side there. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how we're going to get over there, though. I've got to get up to that little teleporty. Oh no! This is bad. Oh gosh. Okay, well, we might have to reserve this for another loop. Uh, there's Dark Bramble, by the way. Oh, where's my ship? My ship is over there, apparently. Why don't we make our way towards that? And then we'll decide what to do. Come on. Come on. Beautiful. Okay. Well, you know what? Maybe this is good. Maybe we can use this opportunity to do some ship log uh, reviewing. Black Hole Forge found a switch that raises and lowers it. It's in the highest uh, district in the Hanging City. A Nomai named Poke planned to create a new advanced warp core in the Black Hole Forge. Now I wonder... Uh, yeah, maybe the only way to get it is to raise it up. I'm not sure. But we might have to go back there and uh, look more. The Hanging City... Yeah, okay, that's good. The old settlement. They abandoned it over growing concerns about its stability. Anglerfish fossil. They learned how to evade it theoretically by studying a f uh, the fossil they found on Ever Twin, which of course we've seen ourselves. Anything else? Oh, the vessel. Uh, they warped to the solar system in a spaceship called the Vessel. They were attempting to follow up a signal from the eye of the universe. The warp core broke when it crashed in the Dark Bramble, and it perhaps is incumbent upon us to fix it, or replicate it, or both. So it's like our, our job is to like go to Dark Bramble, get the warp core, bring it here to Brittle Hollow, activate the forge, um... repair it. What is this right here? Oh, Giant's Deep as well. Uh, what are our other planetary options in the meantime? I don't feel a huge compelling need to go to Giant's Deep at the, this exact juncture. What about the Interloper? We haven't checked that out as well. It's also going behind the sun, which may suck us in here shortly. Let's abort autopilot. Let's try to go around the sun a bit. Oh, we're getting quite close to the sun. might be able to get another go with this. So, yeah. I mean, we can check out the forge, but I don't suspect we'll learn a ton since we don't have any materials to craft it. But I wonder... Oh, we're almost at the end of our uh, time here anyway. I wonder, is it at all, at all possible for me to go in there and... and get to it? Uh, where exactly is it now? Where is the forge? 
It may have been, to be honest, it may have been sucked in by now. Very possibly. Because I don't see... Oh, is that it over there? Is that where we were here? We're probably going to get sucked into the black hole again. Oh, we're all right on top of it. Oh, no, not that way. Yeah, there it was. So it does get sucked in, but really it just at the last second. So it's not overly valuable for us. Okay. Well, good to know. Then there's this thing. Oh, that's that's how we get back there. Yeah. That's the white hole station, right? Okay. So, what do we want to do? Well, there's also the Southern Observatory. Uh, what's happening to the... Oh, that's Giant Steep. Okay. Interesting. Trying to decide where we should go next. I guess we should continue... Continue with Brittle Hollow and try to get the Southern Observatory and then go to Ember Twin and try to get to the High Energy Lab. And then maybe if we finish all that, go to Giants Deep. I think that's kind of the progression of clues. So yeah, it seems like it's going to be up to us to finish all of the science projects that the Nomai were working on. The warp core, the, uh, the, the, uh, the vessel, all that stuff. But we just need to find a way into the Southern Observatory first. I wish there was a frame of reference as to like what was north and what was south. You know? But uh... Actually I think... Nope, actually I want to get closer to it. I want to go not that fast. I want to land in that cannon if it's possible. Because I think that is fairly close to the Southern Observatory uh, area. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at this. Precision. Highly trained astronauts. That's us. Oh, love it. Satisfying. Oh, I'm not wearing my... Oh, gosh. You're kidding me. Uh, okay, we're back and we're properly suited up this time. Some people never learn. Southern Observatory. Okay. What was the hint again? South 550 meters. Okay. So I've got to figure out a way to abort or jump out halfway, right? Southern Observatory. Yep. So this gives me a couple chances. Oh no! There we are. Whew! Okay. I think we're okay. For now.
Okay. Alright, good. Come on. Use those legs. Um, is this correct? I'm trying to figure out where... I think I'm going to have to jump out again. I think that this little... Yes. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to jump out again. I don't think this is going to take me all the way there. So, buckle up, everybody. Don't look down. And... Go! Nailed it. Haha. <laughs> yes. Oh, good. There's a safety railing here. Real helpful, guys. Not not uh, at all at risk of falling at any of these other bajillion ledges. But this little safety railing, yes, really spot on. Good use of funds. <laughs> uh, okay. So now, where to? I see a tree up there. It stands to reason that that would be the southern observatory. But how the heck am I going to get up there? Oh. I see. Oh, I'm going to have to jump across, aren't I? I don't like that. Okay. Phew! Here we are. Um, now what? I feel like I'm kind of stuck here on this ledge. Can I make it up there? I don't feel like I can. Oh, maybe from here I can. Oh, almost. Oh, nice. Okay. Good for me. There we are. Uh, am I just jumping across? I suppose so. There's nowhere else for me to go, is there? Let me just peek around the corner. No, I don't think there is. Oh, I just got... I got to make it up there. That's probably where... Where it is. Okay. Okay, I'm only going to get one shot at this, I think. So here we go. Woo! Oh, nice. Look at us. Look at us go. All right, we got to be quick about this because we're on a timer. For sure. Let's see what that opens up to. Okay, that opens up to the outside. Play recording. I'm here. I did it. I put the ship down safely. I'm in that ship that went down, and I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs, and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts. Feldspar would barely have laughed at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news? I uh, haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door's broken, and I know I'm not great at exploring. But I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there were one. Probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know that there are paths below the surface. Alright, that's where Ryback was, and here we are inside. Good, good, good. Okay, we've got one of these projection screens that's going to tell us... Oh, this is for Giant's Deep. So this is going to be a hint to us as to where we need to look in Giant's Deep. So we need to find this little circular projection thingy. Uh, cool. Okay. Sounds good to me. Alright, what else is there here to find? Now, this kind of looks like a giant's deep phenomenon, doesn't it? This tornado? Are they related? Cassava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on, on Giant's Deep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit, but one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sink sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update, it's now clear that there are two different types of cyclone. Most cyclones in Giant's Deep rotate clockwise. 
These are the cyclones Cassava typically uses to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. Oh, I see. My gratitude, Spire. Kanoi is showing me your handiwork, and I am intrigued by the secondary type of cyclone. But was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant's Deep. And I also very much wanted to make a model. Oh, I get that. He's doing it for the love of the game. So clockwise, you go up, right? Whoop, like that. And then counterclockwise, you go down. Boom. And here we are in the observatory. Love it. So good. Plus a little bit of bonus information for uh, when we go to Giant's Deep. That's going to re reorient the observatory, I guess. So that's the Ember Twins, right? There's Timber Hollow, or Timber Hearth. There's Brittle Hollow. Oh, they're adding stuff to the little model in the middle. I see. There's Giant's Deep. There's Dark Bramble. There's... Oh, the Eye of the Universe, I guess. Right? It's out there somewhere. Who knows where, right? That's what that's telling us. Unable to determine orbit. No signal detected. Matching any known criteria for Eye of the Universe. Yeah, I mean, is the whole point why they are here, isn't it? How should our methods change as we continue our search for the Eye of the Universe? We know that the what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon, so what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. How should our methods change? Uh, oops. Mallow's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Raimi and Pi about the technology they're developing? We need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant's Deep would be a good choice. It's the furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch. And it's moonless, except when the quantum moon is visiting. Yes, let's build the cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep. As we couldn't find the eye's signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose, we should discontinue the search method. So this speaks to a theory that perhaps the... Well, now we know that what we see when we wake up around Giant's Deep is, or is this orbital probe that's out there looking for the eye of the universe. And every time it launches, it seems like it's launching it in a new direction. So is this some sort of, like, ploy that they devised where they're going to speed up the, the universe decaying, but each time the universe resets, it launches a probe in a new direction to try to find where the eye might be. And thus, like, over countless, like, almost infinite possibilities through this time loop, it will allow, uh, it will allow them to narrow down where the eye might be, you know? What have we learned thus far in our search for the eye of the universe? Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around this star system's sun, which would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye signal to the star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the Addle Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here both un are, were both unable to detect any trace of the eye signal. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Cassava, how can you suggest that? The eye signal called out to summon us to the star system. Hypothesis, the eye has stopped emitting its signal. I'm aware. I grew up hearing the eye's story, yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. Interesting. I think that's everything here. So, possibly the eye doesn't wish to be found. Uh, however, also of note, uh, it is somewhere in the vicinity of this system, which is also very good to know. 
uh, you know, it's not... It's not somewhere, like, majorly far away. Like, in a, in a, in a different star, star system altogether. There is cause to believe that we could potentially find it ourselves. Uh, based on the cues that they are giving us. But yeah, it's so interesting. And that would kind of explain why the, the whatever launches from Giant's Deep, now what we understand to be the probe, launches in a different random direction each time we wake So that, that makes me wonder, is the time loop sem somewhat uh, deliberate? You know, uh, was maybe the time loop supposed to be limited to the orbital probe, but but accidentally got expanded to the entirety of the solar system, uh, and thus like ruining existence for everybody. You know, it's it's basically like a giant process of elimination science experiment gone wrong. Oh, and here's a uh, Rybex ship. I was like, <laughs> my, my ship is very much not here, but that explains it. Oh, there it is over there. Uh, all right, beyond all odds, I did make it back to the ship. And a very handy little liftoff tube for me. So let's get out of this place so we don't get absolutely schwacked by Hollow's Lantern. Let's, uh, let's back it up. Oh, we almost <laughs> literally got schwacked by it. Uh... Cool. Let's set a course for somewhere not near the sun. Uh, where's a good planet to go towards? Just somewhere out there. Giant steep, that'll do. That'll do for now. Uh, and then what we'll do once we get there is we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at our ship log. To help us understand what exactly it is that we found. Actually, you know what? Abort that. The interloper has never been closer. Let's try to... Let's try to catch up to it for once. There we are. This is a rare opportunity for us. Oh, I never even noticed the little gauge on the right-hand side. I've been, I've been so focused on, like, at the screen, I never even noticed the gauge on the right-hand side, which shows the relative distance between uh, the ground and the ship. Boy, wouldn't that have been nice to know until, like, before now. Oh! Whoa, what happened there? I got incinerated by... I wonder... I mean, the tail of the comet is always equal and opposite to the sun, right? Because the sun is what makes those particles of ice uh, sort of stream off the end of the tail. I believe that's how it works. So it's possible that it, in the course of the orbit, the tail shifted, and I did not adequately um, change my position to avoid being uh, crispy, just like those marshmallows. <laughs> Toasted to perfection. That's probably what happened there, I guess. No worries at all. So now we can look at the, sh the, the log. So the observatory has been uh, solved. Orbital probe cannon, though. It's constructed around Giant's Deep, as we've seen 
constantly in the Southern Observatory, a new, more sensitive locator the Nomai built was unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Based on their knowledge of the quantum moon, the Nomai believed the eye was in a distant orbit around their sun. They decided to stop searching for the eye's signal and instead look for it visually by sending out a deep space probe. There were concerns that the probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. Thus, perhaps thus, uh, the time loop. Tornado simulation. Uh, and that, that will help us out once we get to um, Giant's Deep. Alright, wasn't there a third thing? Or no, I guess that that's everything for now. Okay. Well, why don't we go to the Ember Twin and look for that high energy lab? I think that would be a good use of resources. Oh, and there's the quantum moon, by the way. Is that even worth approaching now, I wonder? says to approach it from the south. I don't know what south means, though. You know? Like, what is north? This seems south-ish, right? Now, I'm worried. Can I enter the landing, uh, the landing mode or whatever? Ah, uh, okay. It wasn't south enough, apparently. Well, we gave it a try. Oh, that's it again, isn't it? All right, hang on, hang on. Oh, that's probably a little target right there. Hang on, hang on. That's it right there, maybe? We're gonna try. The eye of the storm, right? Perhaps? That would make sense. I mean, it's rotating around an axis. The south enough? No. Well, that's disappointing. I got two cracks at it and messed up both of them. Well, that's fine. We'll try it a different time. Uh, so we need to go. We need, we need to check out the high energy lab over here. Rotate a little bit. Perfect. All right, we're just going to cowboy it. Here we go. Coming in hot. Love it. We don't need no landing mode. We can just eyeball it. All right, here we are at the... Energy lab, right, I think. Ooh, there's this little projection screen. We need another, uh... Ooh. There's the lab down there, okay. How would we get down there? Oh, right here, I guess. Note, this door will need to remain closed for some time. Pi and I are running to an experiment based on the extraordinary findings from Whitehall Station. An update, the high-energy lab is now being used to design the Ash Twin Project. 
If you're here to help or even just to observe, be sure to use the Sunless City path to the lab. Oh, great. Okay, so we're going to have to go back down there again. Raimi and I will be running this experiment until one of us, specifically me, can prove the other wrong. So although it's inconvenient, the lab currently can only be accessed by the path from the Sunless City. Inviting San inside would disrupt our setup and could have enormous consequences. We realize this is an intriguing prospect, but the door must remain closed nonetheless. Well, that's great. So we're going to have to go back down there anyway. The Sunless City. Uh, but maybe we can get there this way. I didn't realize that this was one way that we could go in. Just follow the glowing cables, right? Is there ghost matter here? Hmm. Yeah, there's ghost matter pretty much everywhere. Oh, hello. It's me, Selfie. Uh, yeah. Crash site caves. That could be fun to look at. hidden behind the plants and such. Oh, that's that's this this little area. Refill your Yeah, okay. I know exactly where we are. I mean, I guess we could just go through here since I know I know where we are. We got we just got to solve the little uh, puzzle again. I mean, not a, not a puzzle, really, but... Okay, so we dropped from down there. We follow this around to the left. And then we um, jump down here. And then we jump across. And then walk forward. Turn left. And go in the hole in the roof. Right here. Then we go up this way. And then there's one more little jump that we have to make. Oh, we got to go across here, right? Cool. And behind here. Uh huh. And then avoid all the cacti. Oh, I'm so good. I'm so good at my job. This is great. Then we gotta figure out which one is the energy lab. We're gonna turn the lights on. As uh, appropriate. No. Yes. Which one is that? Down there, okay. Ooh. Uh, have we waited too long? High Energy Lab Trailhead. Is there stuff in here? If so, it's not getting out. Uh, we might have waited too long, so we're going to have to really come back here quick. Yeah, it's going all the way down there. Ah, oh, bummer. Okay. Well, that's too bad. Uh, what is this one here? Oh, I knocked it over, so I guess we'll never know. found here. This seems ominous. There's 
waiting for something to jump out at me. Any second now. What have we found? Where are we exactly? Oh, is this another little exit? A little shortcut to exit to the outside? Or uh, living quarters. Actually, possibly living quarters. Are we playing the fossil fish game today? I fed the fossil fish a new lantern. If you go to Stepping Stone Cave, the entrance to the fossil fish cave is easy to see now. Gratitude, Solanum. It's good you're small enough to climb in through the hole at the anglerfish overlook. That feels like a hint. I'm still small enough. You won't be for long. Mom and Dad are tall, so you and I will be tall, too. So that's a hint to where to go check out the old... Uh, anglerfish. That's good to know. Well, this is where I just came in. Is that it uh, here? Because the ret now we would just be coming back here. Yeah, I think that's probably it here. I mean, I'll drop down real quick, but I don't think there's anything else here that we haven't already seen. We're meeting in the fossil, f fossil, fossil fish cave to play the game. If you're too big to climb through the anglerfish overlook hole, you'll have to go the long way. But it isn't far. Go to Stepping Stone Cave and then up and into Fossil Fish Cave. I tried to get to the Fossil Fish through Stepping Stone Cave, but I couldn't find the entrance. Where is it? Remember to feed the Fossil Fish first. If you go to the Anglerfish Overlook and throw a light into his mouth, he'll show you the way. Oh, that is helpful. So throw, throw our scout in there. Ta Taggett can't fit through the Anglerfish Overlook hole anymore because he grew bigger. He's taller than Levy now. Who cares? Elix is still the tallest. So the, the idea is to throw the scout, which can emit a light, into the anglerfish and then find Stepping Stone Cave. And then from there, go into uh, go into the um, anglerfish area. Okay, I think this is a good spot to take a break. Uh, I'll probably just die here, I'll be honest. Not sure, I may just let myself get supernova. I'll let you know, for the purposes of the death counter, what happens. But, uh, we, need, we really need to get to that high energy lab, so I can't see us doing much here of use. I don't know, maybe I'll try to make it up out there and escape. But uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching. A lot of sort of odds and ends that we're cleaning up on a variety of planets. Not to mention our first quantum moon uh, landing attempt. Uh, but thank you for watching. And when we come back, we will continue our pursuit of the high energy lab, the anglerfish, and perhaps even make it to Giant's Deep. I can't wait. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.